Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion Episode 3. Uh, like I said, I decided to record this right after recording Episode 2. Uh, I'm actually uh, in a way more awake mood than I was in the last episode, which is really surprising. Uh, it's pretty much the same way uh, every time I record, or after it's been a while since I've recorded. I'm trying to record at least once a day now. Uh, I have to do a little bit of homework for college, but it's not it's really not too much. Alright, so where we left off in the last episode was we killed Rufio for the uh, Dark Brotherhood, and we have now officially been initiated into the Dark Brotherhood. So now what we have to do is we have to go visit the uh, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Shaden Hall, which is where we're going right fucking now. Alright, so let's see here. Map. Yes. <laughs> I really hope that this game doesn't crash as I'm recording, because it's done that before. At least I think it has. I, I wasn't recording actual Let's Play, I was actually recording, uh... I think I was just recording like a funny moment, and it like fucked up. I wonder if I can find that roasted deer penis guy. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my mic here. Alright, so... I really don't want to be holding this damn thing anymore, so let's get out my... Wait, actually, wait, don't I have it? There we go, much better. Alright, so let's go in here. Wait, what? I thought I had a key for it. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. Close. No. Thank you. Close. Wait, didn't they give me a fucking key? I thought they gave me a key for the fucking house. Fuck me. Do I have to break into this place? Dude, somebody can see me. Who the fuck can see me? Who the fuck? Where? Dude, I'm like... What the... Okay, so apparently they're over there somewhere. Can I, like... Who in the mother of fuck can see me? Seriously. Okay, this is really making me kind of mad. Oh, it's that fucking ton of shit over there. Uh, I don't want him to see me, but I gotta break into this house. Uh, fuck. Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Fuck me. Fuck me. There we go. It's pretty god he doesn't come in here flipping shit. Actually, let's see. Do I have a bounty? We'll have to check and see if I have a bounty. Zero! Yay! Okay, sweet. So that means that we didn't do shit wrong. Nice. Alrighty. I really thought he gave me a key for this house. Apparently not. Alrighty, so let's... uh. <laughs> Alright, finally we're going to get that shrouded armor that I've been talking about. Time to talk to this bitch. Sh shut up. Okay, fuck you. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. Talking to me in the air. I am Oshiva, mistress Hi. of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all about <sighs> you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. Thanks. Now give you me my clothing. stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go. But before you go, now I've kept you long enough. Vicente uh, is waiting. Excuse me. You'll. Okay, Vicen Vicente, if that's how they say his name. Go now, dear He's probably one of my favorite characters of this game. Alright, so I'm going to be skipping a lot of the, uh, the commentary of the characters. Just because Oblivion's been around for a while, and almost everyone knows what they say. Basically, she was just saying, hey, go talk to your whatever the hell that guy's name is, uh, Vicente. Because he's going to be my, uh... Oh, so I look like that queer right the there. Sanctuary, look at me. My newest Shit, brother. how the hell do I... There we go. I'm going to look at my body. Mm, look at that body. Mm, good look at that body. All right. Holy shit, that made me dizzy. I've so much about but you. why, sister? Welcome What's the to point? How have you heard so much why about me? Why should anyone bother with all that sneaking and skulking? My dear God. All right, so if it, wait, this isn't is Chen. Isn't he down here? Actually, yeah, right. ah, here you are. Yeah, I love this guy. To you, I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. Yep. Please do not let my appearance unnerve. He's a vampire. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own. Now, if you're ready to get to work. 
Yes, a uh, contract. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin. So okay, while carrying out a contract, you may... I'm ah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, I'll accept Excellent. the contract. Here is what you must do. Oh, okay, Board the fun. ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing... Oh, and one more thing. Get into... As a pirate, Gaston Toussaud has certainly spilled his share of blood. Someone wants revenge, and they've hired us to extract it. Alrighty, so that is going to be Farewell, our brother. first contract yours. then. Uh, oh, you know, I just realized, son of a bitch. I always, always forget to start my damn timer. Lovely of me, isn't it? Yeah, great. Okay, so. Uh. Get away from me. Where am I going? Ah, yes, okay, so we're going out here. Uh, okay. Basically, what we have to go do is we, uh, there's uh, the place in the waterfront, wh which is where I killed the uh, Imperial Guard in the first place. We have to go there, and we have to kill the ship captain of the pirate ship, which is actually pretty fun to do. Uh, there's two ways you can do it. There's a harder way, which is picking the lock, which I'm not going to try to do. And then there is uh, you sneak aboard using a crate. And we're going to be doing that one just for the fuck of it. I think we've been recording for about five minutes now-ish, so I'm gonna have to keep track of that. Imperial City Waterfront! Lovely. My voice is just really hoarse right now, so I really apologize. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I think it's because I've been talking all day. <laughs> Alright, so this is the ship right here we have to go in. Mmm, go look at those graphics! <laughs> They're not really actually that great. They're very... Vanilla. Hi, bitch. Bye, bitch. Hide in the crate! Chili does not affect him. Okay. Here we go. Now report this shit. Alright, just as I expected. Let's, let's pull out my bow. I'm not gonna bother stealing shit because I really don't think there's too much other than a few strands of gold. Yeah, nothing really valuable in these, so I'm not gonna waste my time. I really hope there's no one aboard this ship. But knowing me, it's not going to be this easy. Is there anyone in here? Anyone in here? No. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see. Anyone in here? Like, I always move my head like I'm actually peering behind. I'm telling you, lad, it's bad luck. Oh, fuck, I don't have any arrows equipped. That would, that would probably fucking help me. Okay, let's, let's do the iron arrows. Board a pirate vessel. Right. Back in my day. <laughs> Boom, you're dead. <laughs> I love that so much. Alright, we're going to take that. Because actually, they're worth quite a bit. And I think they're actually not half bad weapons to start off to start off with. Even though I'm not going to be using melee weapons. But hey, if I end up running out of arrows, which has happened in the past, at least I've been able to use a uh, melee weapon. Alright, so we actually have to go up. Alright, so this is going to be the captain's cabin, is it? Yep, okay, here we go. Pull that out. No, we're gonna pop a cap in his. Oh shit, he sees us. That's right, come on. Ha! Fuck you! <laughs> uh, let's see, does he have a special. No, he doesn't. Okay, let's search his body quick. Uh, captain's key, take that. Okay, uh, quickly open this, and we're gonna take what's inside here before those pirates get inside. Qu quickly take that, continue, and run out the door! Yes! Alright, I would say a successful fucking mission. Alright, so we've been recording for about three minutes now. I like what I see. Let's go in the west. Oh fuck, wait a minute. We don't want the, the pirates to see me because uh they'll actually attack me if I go on that ship. Alright, so let's do this. Let's uh let's go to Chaden Hall Sanctuary Hall Sanctuary and let's receive our uh reward here. Uh it's been about what, uh, seven minutes now ish? Hello there. Hi! Scared me. Alright. Let's continue. Look how badass we look in these fucking. What are these tights? 
I never really like the uh, the shrouded armor, how it looks on you. I'm really, really big fan of the Nightingale uh, armor. That is the most badass armor I've seen in the Oblivion oh, Elder Scrolls series. Not Oblivion series, Elder Scrolls. Wait, do I have the... I think I have the Game of the Year edition for this, so I think we can actually go to the Shivering Isles, too. So I might end up doing that as well. Ooh. Is this the Game of the Year edition? I can't I can't remember if it is or not. I'll have to check. If it is, I'll definitely go there. If not, I'll just download it anyway. Hello, my brother. Hi. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Yes. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful. All right, so let me explain just a little bit about uh, what... Uh, every time you do a contract, there is a uh, objectional uh, objective that you can do. And if you do that, you get an extra bonus, which is usually an item or more money. Uh, in this case, uh, I think we got the black band as a reward for that. Or it might have just been the reward for completing it. I'm not not sure. I really don't think it had a... Uh, but yeah, this is definitely really uh, really useful, especially if you're going to be a sneak class like I am. Fortifies your light armor by 3 points, security and magic resistance by 3%. So it's definitely a pretty good uh, weapon to, to uh, use. Everyone's talking right, so about so your let's talk to I'm him. I'm glad he should, you've... He should have another one ready for me. We need you to yep. stage right, an sweet. accident. This one Kill is fun, the target but such in the a manner pain specified, yes. And you'll receive a considerable yep. bonus. Yep, the bonus that he's talking about. Yep, I'll accept As that. I on the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, he will forfeit the bonus. Now go. And may Sithis be with you. Ooh, excuse me. Lord, I'm tired. Alright, so where does this accident happen? Alright, let's, let's go there. Uh, well, it's securely locked. Oh, fuck. That's a shortcut to actually get out of the house. I mean, the uh, sanctuary. But I can't do that yet until after I've uh, talked to the next higher-up person. So, uh, for this one, and this is actually one of my favorite ones, uh, because you get to, uh, actually, no, my favorite one is the Somerset Manor, I think that's what it's called. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's called, the name of the course is called Whodunit, which is, I think it's actually named after a movie. And I know a lot of other games have, have done the Whodunit thing before. I think RuneScape actually had that too, if I remember correctly. Something very similar to that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to... Let's see, accidents happen map. We have to go to Bruma for this. Alright, we're actually going to go to Bruma, and we're going to end the episode here. Uh, I'm trying to keep the episodes around 10-15 uh, minutes you? in length, instead of 20 minute episodes like I had them before. So, we're actually going to end the episode here, and we will continue it... Uh, Whenever, maybe later tonight, maybe not. It really depends. Uh, it's not that hard to record these, really. It's actually rather simple. So uh, we'll see you guys in episode four. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, okay. Okay, which one, which one are we going to have? Trico, Torchic, or Mike well, Just guess what I'm going to pick. I don't know. I, I, I told you to have one in mind. Which one? I do have one. Usually I pick Mudkip, but... Because you like fucking reptiles. Pick Trico. Trico? Sweet. Because I fucking love Skeptiles, man. Yeah. Is that how you say Skeptile or is it... Yeah, I don't remember. It has I thought to be. it was Tile.